So, Sergio, congratulations last night on winning a very prestigious award. Thank you very much. And what a beautiful stand you've got. Now, tell me about the, uh, the cigar, please. So, we initially came out in Casa 1910, obviously with Mexican Puros. It was our mission statement to change the perception of Mexican tobacco and Mexican Puros. But the natural progression for the business was to come out with blends. So last year we presented our first line of blends with Nicaraguan and Mexican tobacco. And at uh, this trade show we're coming out with our newest line of blends, which are with Dominican and uh, Mexican tobacco. And I think these cigars, uh, which are called the Soldadera line, are inspired by the female fighters of the Mexican Revolution and are our most elegant blend. Should we buy it up? Yeah, for sure. Let's do it. What sort of cigar blend is this? Medium to light? Um, I would say it's uh, medium. You know, if you consider uh, the new world, maybe it could be medium to light. But since Manolo, our blender, comes from the Cuban school, uh, I would say it's medium. In, in the American market, they consider it maybe medium to light. Nice. Yeah, and they are produced at Tabacalera La Isla with Ostos Quesada, which obviously has made some great cigars for other brands like, um, you know, uh, Matilde, Warp, and uh, a few other boutique brands which have received uh, high recognitions in the industry. So what are you looking to launch this into the UK? In the UK, I think towards end of the year, we'll be able to bring these to the UK as well. We want to start to bring the Mexican Puro lines first, then the blends with Nicaragua, and towards the end of the year, maybe beginning of next year, to bring these as well to the UK. So we're going to have our Mexican Puro range in the stores in October. Correct. That's so exciting. The Casa 1910 always should be paired with the La Familia from uh, Jose Cueva. Correct, so we have a strong uh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, we fostered a strong partnership with the Reserva de la Familia from Jose Cuervo, which is, Jose Cuervo is of course the largest tequila producer in the world, but Reserva de la Familia was what only the family of the owners drank for the first 200 years of the business. And since a few years now it's available commercially and for me and also for Manolo, our blender, it is the finest tequila out. We have in this one a bit of the binder and also in the filler, Mexican tobacco. Okay, because everyone knows Mexico is yeah. very famous for San Andrea. When we tried the Puro, no one really understood and got to understand actually they're great cigars as pure cigars. Correct, and I mean, it's very hard to make a puro in Mexico because you only have one growing region, which is the San Andres Valley. And the terroir, it's volcanic there, and there's some like uh, farms that are a bit lower and some a bit higher altitude, some are like virgin land, some are not. But at the end of the day, the terroir is very similar. So you have to use different seed varieties in the San Andres Valley. So Habano, but grown in San Andres, San yeah. Andres Negro, as well as Sumatra, which we use for the wrapper, the yeah. Sumatra grown in San Andres. And then it's all about the fermentation and the aging. So, and the puro that we had at the event at Salter, wow. um, we use only five years aged tobacco and give each cigar an additional uh, half a year of aging after being rolled. And it's that aging that really makes the difference. Yeah. The majority of the tobacco grown in Mexico gets exported to other countries, Dominican Republic or Nicaragua to make blends uh, with no fermentation or one fermentation. We want to keep the highest quality tobacco in Mexico, age it for a minimum of three, five years, blend it in a, a, what we believe is a good blend, and then age it additional half a year after it's rolled, makes that's a huge it, difference. That's it, second. Now tell me about the box, because I'm yeah. intrigued. I, I, I've been loving the color, because it's our color at Salta. When we initially uh, designed the brand, we wanted to pay homage to Mexico and use all the characteristics of Mexico in, in our branding. So we wanted to use the colors of the Mexican flag, red, white, and green. Then we went to the trademark office in Mexico City, and they told us you cannot use exactly the same Pantone as the Mexican flag. So we went back and said, okay, if we cannot use the exact same Pantone, let's do something a bit crazy and blow it up. So the red became the orange, and it was maybe the best business decision we have taken because the orange really pops and stands yeah. out in all the humidors around the world, especially if you have the lineup of our different blends, it really catches the eye. 
and um, 1910, of course, which is the name of our brand. It marks the beginning of the Mexican Revolution, and yeah. we're inspired by the revolutionaries like Zapata and Pancho Villa, which were always pictures with a sombrero and smoking a cigar. And the box itself? The box itself, it's uh, unique because we made it in a way that it's... Um, the ceiling. Correct. Fully airtight. So if you can hear here, where's the microphone? It seals it completely and we work with Boveda. So um, each box, we only make boxes of 10, is completely airtight um, and acts like a portable humidor. If you go and buy a box with the Boveda inside, you can keep it up to one, two months without a problem, no need of humidification. And uh, what is super cool as well is that it's much lighter than uh, wooden boxes as well. So it makes it uh, cheaper for shipment, you know, for online channels. I know that you ship a lot around. So let's have a little toast. Yeah. All right. To your success last night in Thank winning a well-deserved award and tonight in ten becoming one of our top sellers. I really appreciate Cheers. that. Cheers. Sergio, congratulations from all at Salta. Thank, Thank you. you.